wonderful thing about Sandy is that you're working with a lot of passionate people who are really committed to conserving South Africa's biodiversity and ensuring that people benefit from the biodiversity. Sandby manages a national network of botanical gardens uh, spread around uh, the various provinces of South Africa. Kirstenbosch was the first national botanical garden that was established promoting indigenous plants of South Africa. Kirstenbosch is a very special place. The garden is sitting at the base of a mountain, a natural area. Uh, you have indigenous plants up the mountain slopes, so you've got a lot of topographical variation. You've got natural rivers running from the eastern slopes through the garden. What is so special, apart from our beautiful gardens, is the work that's happening in our office buildings. We've got two big pillars. The one pillar is our gardens and our national zoological garden. And the other big pillar that we stand on is all our human capital development. It's all about people and it's all about giving them the opportunity to grow and develop. And then within those two pillars, we have the work that we do. And right at the bottom is our foundational biodiversity science. This is all the taxonomic work that we do, that our herbarium, our national herbarium, our Compton herbarium, and our smaller herbarium in Durban, all those three herbariums help us to know what plants we have in South Africa, where are they, what species are they. Using that foundational biodiversity science, we're then able to generate knowledge and evidence that feeds into the next layer, which is our biodiversity policy advice and support. So the evidence and the knowledge that we generate, we take that and we develop that into guidelines and tools and we engage our policy makers. For any young person who's coming into Sandy, I think it's, it's a fantastic place to, to learn, uh, to grow. There's many, many examples of people who came in as a young intern got their masters while they were at Sandy, went on to do their PhDs and are now in leadership positions in the organisation.